Woo! <sighs> Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! In March 2021, Ooh, I made yeah. a video about how much I loved Ooh. my Mad Rock drone LVs. Ooh, now, a yeah. year and a half later, I still Ooh. love my Mad Rock drones just as much Ooh, as I did yeah. back then. So I was stoked Ooh. when they reached out and asked if they could Ooh, send me yeah. a pair of their all new Ooh. Mad Rock drones comp series, Ooh, or CS yeah. for short, to test Ooh. out and give a review. This shoe features an all new compression molded toe box and expandable molded heel. It also has new extreme friction rubber, an upgrade from their previous Science Friction 3.0 rubber. The new Extreme Friction rubber is so sticky that when I reached out to Mad Rock support to ask where this rubber could be used in a resoling process, they told me that most resolers don't even have it yet and don't even know how to work with it because it's just that sticky. I'm really excited to try it out because I already am in love with the Science Friction 3.0 rubber on my Mad Rock drones. It's a huge selling point and I feel like it allows me to smear and step on small footholds a lot better than other rubbers on other shoes. In my opinion, one of the most interesting features of this new shoe is the patented concave sole that also has a polycarbonate midsole. It's like a hard little plate in there. It's very interesting. The stretchy and breathable tongue combined with the two heel tabs make for an easy on and off of the shoe. The shoe features a Velcro closure system with two different angles to fasten the strap. Let's talk sizing. In regular women's US street shoes, I wear a size nine. And in the Mad Rock Drone LVs, I wear a size 41 and a half, which admittedly is far bigger than what their sizing chart on their website recommends. However, I found that I like my shoes to feel a little bit more comfortable than uncomfortable. So this size has been all right for me. That being said, the next time I purchase Mad Rock Drones of any sort, I do plan on getting them in a size 40. One thing that I've found with my regular Mad Rock Drones is that the heel does slip a bit over time. So I would recommend getting them tighter rather than looser. The Mad Rock Drone comp series are currently listed on their website for $149, which is quite a bit lower than other high performance shoes on the market. When I put the Mad Rock Drone comp series on for the first time, the inside of the shoe felt extremely soft and velvety. The shoe felt like it was snug on my foot in all the right places. One thing I noticed right away was that I could feel what I'm assuming was the polycarbonate plate pressing into the ball of my foot and causing my toes to really curl into the downturn shape of the shoe. It didn't hurt, but it definitely felt odd compared to the regular drones that don't have this feature. <sighs> Woo! <sighs> Woo! Yeah! <sighs> Woo! <sighs> Woo! Yeah! <sighs> Woo! <sighs> Woo! Yeah! <sighs> Woo! Woo, yeah. Woo. Woo, yeah. Woo. So at this point, I've worn the Mad Rock Drone Comp Series for about a month's worth of climbing. So I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts. I wanted to give a fair review. Uh, I got these shoes and I was planning on making the video for this within like a week or two, but I just felt like it wasn't enough time to give them an honest review. And now that I've climbed in them for a bit more, here are my thoughts. So one thing that I was really concerned about with the shoes starting off was the feeling underfoot from the polycarbonate plate in the middle here. It felt like there was an air bubble underneath my foot and honestly it was making me trust my feet like way less on everything. Like I was falling off things I usually never fall off. Over time that feeling probably within like five or six sessions really went away and I'm not sure if that's like how every pair of these shoes will feel, but that's how they felt to me. So it is good to know that that feeling does go away over time if you buy these and that's what you experience. I do love the extreme friction rubber on these shoes, but I can't say that I noticed like a huge night and day difference between the Science Friction 3.0 uh, rubber and the extreme friction. Like they both feel very sticky, which is good, which is what you want in a climbing shoe. But I wasn't like, whoa, this is so much stickier or anything. I can stand on small footholds, I can smear, uh, but I don't feel like it's astronomically better than my regular Mad Rock drones. I do feel like the heel on this shoe feels a lot more snug and like feels better on my foot. That could be just that they're newer <laughs> than my drones that I currently have. But yeah, the, the heel overall felt snug and the whole fit of the shoe just felt really good on my foot. 
One thing that I dislike about these is that my feet sweat quite a bit in them. They feel really nice and really uh, soft on the inside, but I think that softness makes your foot sweat more. So not ideal, but also not a deal breaker. So overall, do I recommend buying the Mad Rock Drone Comp, <laughs> comp Series? Yes, I do. I love the shoe. I have always been a Mad Rock fan, so I was really pleased that I liked this shoe as well. Uh, I'm not the biggest comp climber to be honest, like I am not a super dynamic climber, I don't climb on a lot of problems with big holds, so I think that I might not have been able to uh, really truly test some of the features that this shoe has to offer, but I would love to hear from anyone that is a comp climber or is more of a dynamic climber, is stepping on bigger holds, how this shoe performs, because I think that some of the features could be really beneficial. Once again, I want to give a huge shout out to Mad Rock for sending me the shoes. I really appreciate it. And a huge shout out to you for watching. As always, thank you and stay hyped.